You know, when I originally quit my job and everybody knew I was about to leave and stuff like that, you know, some people were kind of thought I was crazy. We're about to have a feast. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You're watching CTV. My name's Calandra and I'm back with another video. So yeah, the scenery right now is looking a little different. I'm on vacation right now and my husband actually went to go get something so I can actually like talk and focus and all that good stuff. And I'm actually doing my nails right now, I'm putting on some press-ons. But yeah, I just wanna give y'all a little, I guess life update, even though like I constantly update you guys on my life and stuff. But I kinda wanna just talk about, you know, how I feel about being unemployed. Um, the pros, the cons, everything like that. So let's get into it. I'm trying to find the right size. Okay. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I got a drill that I can use. And I forgot to get my tripod. Like what kind of, like I have a small tripod that I can use and I forgot it. Like what kind of YouTuber am I? That's what I bought the damn thing for. And yeah, my hair looks crazy. I didn't do my hair yet. You know, when I originally quit my job and everybody knew I was about to leave and stuff like that, you know, some people were like, kind of thought I was crazy and, you know, were trying to help me find, like telling me like other places that were hiring and stuff like that. And I don't know, this time around, like with looking for jobs, I am very picky. Like, I pretty much don't want to work a nine to five period. But if I had to, it's just like, I don't know even where I would work at at this point. Cause I feel like a lot, all these jobs have just screwed me over in some type of way, shape or form. And, you know, we're not good for my mental health. And one thing I do like about not working is I get to kind of just live life how I want to live it. It's just, you know, and I honestly do feel kind of bad living like that. Hold on. I kind of do feel bad living like that because, um, you know, my husband, he, he provides for me, but I don't want to be dependent on him to provide for me. You know what I'm saying? Even with him being in the military, he's not in the military as of right now. He's not active duty. He's about to join reserves, but he's not active duty anymore. But throughout almost the whole time we've been doing this whole thing, I have had a job. You know, there were times where I would quit you know, not work somewhere for a while, but then I will find another one. And during COVID, can I even say COVID anymore? And during COVID, you know, I was scared. Like I was working at this restaurant and I was scared of catching it because like I, you hear all types of like horrible things. And so I just stopped working period for about a good year and I was, um, living off of unemployment. Unemployment was giving me that bread, you feel me? Like, if you know, you know. But, yeah, I didn't work. And I think anywhere was worth working for during that time. Because it's like, what job is worth, you know, me getting sick and all this other bullshit? Like, no job. Like these places, I like these places, they want you to come into work sick. They don't care, especially if you're working for food, which I don't get it. Like, I don't get why, you know, y'all think it's okay to put people's lives at risk just for the sake of um, money. And as much as I love having my own money, as much as I love, you know, having my independence and everything like that, I think this nail is too small. I don't really like the way these fit, but like I said, they're just, they're cute. Just something basic kind of goes with my outfit. Kind of mad that I forgot with my necklace, like my C necklace. I don't really like this necklace with my outfit. Like I forgot a lot of my jewelry. 
but like I was rushing my husband was rushing me so it's just like god damn hate that stuff but anyway like I just feel like even with everything being the world being the way it is inflation prices going up you know people losing their jobs people going homeless all this other stuff uh, all types of shit that's going on in the world you know you would think like most people would want to just keep working keep working keep working keep working but it is very peaceful to just um and i know like y'all may feel some type of way or judge me on how I'm living my life because you know I'm kind of living off of me and if y'all want to say it like that whatever but and this is not like that type of debate but I'm just saying in general you know not letting money control your life is a huge free like it's it's very freeing it's very I don't know how to explain it and it may sound insensitive because we need money to survive like we need money to eat we, we and nothing in this world is free i get it but just having that break like being able to just not stress about oh uh, i need to make some more money or just believe i am stressing about it now because i'm not working and it's like oh my god i need to make some money oh my god i need to start working but Working a nine to five is just like have, letting capitalism control your life. Like you're letting these people basically take over your identity, your dignity. You're sacrificing a whole lot for the sake of a check. Uh, and, and jobs really don't pay enough for you to live, for real, for real. Like they don't pay enough for you to live. They don't care about your life, period. It's very rare to find a job where the managers or the people that run the business or whatever care about their employees. And it just doesn't sit right with me. It really doesn't. Which is why like the next place I work at, if I do happen to work somewhere, which I'm working on entrepreneurship, you know, I'm just doing a lot of research and trying a whole bunch of new opportunities, but I just don't want to expose nothing or talk about nothing yet because it hasn't happened. So I'm gonna keep that to myself. But best believe throughout this time that I've been unemployed, you know, I've been on here, like I've been on my YouTube grind. I've been able to give y'all the most authentic content of my life. And I feel like I'm, I'm starting to like, learn who I am as a human being and able to articulate my emotions. And I've been so closed off, off for like a really long time. And I don't know why suddenly, maybe because we're in the age of Aquarius or something like that, I just finally just want to like be free and be me and, and be all, the most authentic I can be for y'all and for myself mostly for myself and there are people like me out here i don't meet them as often but there are a lot of people like me out here just the freedom of it all like just imagine how the world would be with if money did not exist do you know how fucking free we, we would be like the freedom of oh i can go to bed and get up whenever i can eat at whatever time I need to eat. I don't have to ask to use the bathroom or tell people, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. You know, I don't have to ask to do this, that, and the other. It's like the best feeling in the world, honestly. And, you know, it just really depends on your circumstances. And I feel like it is selfish in a way because we're not rich. As a grown ass woman, you know, I need to be at my big age. I need to be making money for myself. I need to be able to take care of myself. But at the end of the day, I know I will. Like I know that time is coming. I know financial freedom is coming for me. You know, and I'm speaking that into existence. I know I'm not gonna be like this forever. I know it's hard right now and I'm kind of hard on myself about it. But throughout this time also, 
it's very important, especially since I know I want to be an entrepreneur. I'm trying to like, um, I hope people don't hear me talking. <laughs> I think I'm talking to myself. I don't care, but, but I'm trying to adjust myself and my habits into becoming the person and the woman that I'm trying to be. With this time, I'm also trying to work on, on bettering my bad habits because I have bad habits of, of bad sleeping patterns, um, just no discipline. Like a lot of times I'll just kind of like, and I have the freedom to do that. However, I want to use my freedom for good and for, and for putting me in the place that I need to be. And with that, it's kind of like, you kind of have to have that same discipline that you need to even work a nine to five, but it will pay off in the long run. So by that, I mean, you know, this is a time for me to work on being a 6 a.m. girl, you know, going to bed early and working on like my health, um, all types of aspects of my health that I, you know, ignored all this time. Like I go on TikTok and it's just like so many things that you really should be doing to take care of yourself, like vitamins you should be taking. Um, types of different hygiene methods that you can use that are even better than the standard hygiene methods. Uh, like brush your teeth, for example, like it's good to oil pool with um, coconut oil and mint. And I got an electric toothbrush instead of a regular one and stuff like that. And um, tongue scraping, very good, very good. You know, I have time more to cook, clean, all of that good stuff, but at the same time, I need to learn to be more organized and I want to use this time to practice more self-discipline. And that's in the era that I'm trying, that I'm in right now is to practice self-discipline before I can even work somewhere because I'm not gonna sit there and act like I'm perfect and I'm not the problem sometimes. Like sometimes I do shit to myself. Like sometimes, you know, I oversleep and I'm late to work or, I lollygag in the morning and and I just don't have the energy sometimes. Like I think it's pretty much my how I take care of myself and why I feel like that. But if I don't have like self-discipline, how am I going to work somewhere? How am I going to be a good employee? You know what I'm saying? And with that, it's like I'm okay to I'm okay with admitting that sometimes I am the problem. You know, sometimes, you know. I um, self-sabotage. This nail does not fit. You know, I am a victim of self-sabotaging, which is not good. And so I'm just trying to be a better woman, a better person to myself and, and the world. And that's when I feel like it's time for me to start working. However, you know, I've been doing job applications here and there. I just haven't been like putting all my focus into it, which I will in probably in the next couple of days to a week, to a couple of weeks, cause I have shit coming up and I really need the money. And I'm not on here trying to act like, trying to like make people feel bad for me. Like I don't need shit from y'all. I'm not gonna drop no cash app or none of, none of that stuff. The only thing I want from y'all is to support me this channel like just enjoy the vibes like that's all I want y'all to do you know that's it you know if you if I happen to you know promote something or whatever that's your choice if you want to buy it I'm not the that type of person that I don't like that desperate energy shit like things are going to happen when it's time for it to happen and yeah, that's basically how I feel. However, I can say I, I'm improving on taking advantage of any free time that I have to do things that I know that I want, that I need to do, like make content. Like I'm taking the time to even make content while I'm on vacation, which I don't even have to do. You know, I could just be using this time to lollygag or whatever, but I'm on here and I'm not mad at it. You know, even the setup actually looks decent, you know, even with, without my tripod, you know, I, I figured something out. And sometimes it's just how it has to be. Like, you gotta make shit work. You know what I'm saying? If you just be, make an excuse for every little thing that is an inconvenience to your life, you're gonna constantly be stuck. 
And that's something that I had to learn. Like, oh, I don't have this or I don't have that. Like, whatever, just make the best out of it, yo. Just make the best out of it. All right, nails are done. I need to do my hair. I don't know how sturdy these are going to be, but I just need them for a couple of days, honestly. Like, what's that? Yeah, we're leaving Vegas tomorrow. So we're only gonna be here for like another day and a half. And there's like music. I hope I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> but it's not loud. I, don't, I hope y'all don't hear it. The nails were not sturdy for shit. So I took them off. Like they were popping off while I was doing my hair. Not worth it, man. Not worth the money. It's very unfortunate. But yeah, that, that will be the ending of this part of the video. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my vacation. Bye. Okay, so random voiceover. We're gonna zoom in on everybody who stares at me at a photo shoot because it does happen, you guys. I do get a lot of stares and it's actually pretty interesting to see. So yeah, let's do that. Every time somebody stares at me, take a sip of some water or whatever you wanna drink. It wasn't gonna make it, I don't know why you thought. <laughs> it wasn't gonna... And now I'm just making food for myself because that's something I don't really take the time to do during a busy work week, which is a much healthier thing to do if you're eating healthy at least, but all I'm eating is a bacon, egg, and cheese. But I mean, I miss making them, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm 
making my eggs all scrambled and nice and here you're about to see me make the bacon yeah it broke but it's still gonna be good it's Trader Joe's turkey bacon okay I don't do pork over here and I'm using leftover brochet buns for hamburgers but you can definitely use it for a bacon sandwich no rules over here and I'm spreading cream cheese on it but on the cream cheese I'm going to season it in just a second but here I am doing a somewhat aesthetically pleasing presentation and everything but the bagel seasoning is very good seasoning get it from Trader Joe's I'm pretty sure other grocery stores have it but Trader Joe's has a really good one so I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there and hopefully y'all don't hear my stomach growling and time to make the eggs put butter on the pan go ahead and put my eggs on there and this is plant-based butter but it's so good I'm never gonna go back to regular butter and yeah any minute now okay here go the eggs I didn't add anything to them besides maybe salt and pepper because I'm already gonna put cheese on top look at that look at that and that was like I think provolone that I put on the eggs and of course, I'm gonna finish off with the bacon on top. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all didn't see that. And ta-da, look how beautiful it is. I'm about to go crush it. And I added an orange to make it somewhat healthy. Yeah, okay, let me eat now. Look at that, big ass breakfast sandwich. Mmm, mmm. I'll give it a nine out of ten, just because I don't think I really needed that cream cheese. It just give a, it gives it like a dairyish taste, like it's a, it's very dairyish. Okay, I think I could have added a different sauce or something to it in the future, but the everything but the bagel seasoning added a nice flavor to it. So it was really good. It was really good. I'll just do something slightly different next time. And um, I'm trying to develop clean habits, okay, of keeping my dishes washed. Um, I have a dishwasher, but at the end of the day, even if I use the dishwasher, I still got to put dishes away. And I'd rather just not have them pile up in the sink. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and wash them real quick. Um, washing dishes is probably the least favorite chore I could ever think of. I hate washing dishes so freaking much. I'd rather do anything else but wash dishes. It's just gross. I hate touching old food particles. I just hate it. And sometimes like the, the, the bullshit on the dishes, I'm sorry to cuss, but I just hate how stubborn the food particles can be when it comes to scrubbing dishes. That's what makes it so infuriating. But we're grown, we're adults. This is what we're going to do. We're going to wash dishes and we're not going to complain about it, okay? And I'm also going to use bleach because I'm going to make sure my stuff is extra clean. And I like to clean the sink out with the little spray bottle that's right next to me just to give it a more clean effect. And I have a dryer where my dishes can dry. And yeah, I'm going to do this and go on by my merry way. And y'all are going to watch me. If you don't want to watch me, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do. And here I'm just wiping my counters off, you know, basic everyday things. So y'all are welcome to watch me do that too. And here I finally got Bay to go to the gym with me. I'm so excited. So I'm working on side glutes or gluteus minimus if I'm correct or gluteus medius yeah gluteus medius and gluteus minimus that's what I'm working on today and a minute you got to see my husband because like yeah couples need to work out together and then that work and here
here I'm doing the most annoying workout known to men, RDLs. First my back was arched and then I fixed it, but my form has gotten so much better and it's very effective. Tacos on YouTube. <laughs> they enjoy his plate. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm so happy that they turned out good. Now you want a dog. I gotta get a bigger house. Just no more cats, huh? Back on the East Coast, get a bigger house. This man over here boosting my head. Rack the boat. Rack the boat. Rack the boat. Change position. Change position. Change position. Stroke it for me. Stroke it for me. Stroke it. Stroke it, baby. So look at how my husband was just holding my phone, filming me. I, I just wanted to highlight that real quick. Like, he don't know if he want to zoom in or zoom out. Like, what, what was that for? What was that? Okay, okay, okay. Good footage, good, good footage. Okay, keep it. What? What the hell? <laughs> He'll do it again. Just watch. Oh, yep, he's doing it again. And, and he gonna do it some more. Like, why you got the bottom half? Just get me straight. Okay, y'all. So just look at the pose. Look at the leg up. Okay, it was giving the angle, the the shapes, everything. Okay, okay. He zoomed in again, but I can understand because I was hitting that pose. Okay, I was hitting that. But okay, you can go back to my face now, sir.
We're about to have a feast. Yes, look at my plate. Shit. Okay, wait. Let me. I'm gonna go like I'm just gonna get your food. I got your food. Okay. You say you good? Okay. And then here's mine. I love you.